tribe welcome back to my channel if you're new here my name is Tay Luna make sure to hit that red subscribe button down there and if you don't want to miss a video from me if you want to be notified whenever I upload just click the little bell right next to it and you won't miss a video let's do this guys so I hope you're all doing super well I'm feeling a little sick today I had to call out of work I'm feeling better Moving on. So we have our new moon in Pisces coming up tomorrow night. So I wanted to do this video to explain to you what this moon is all about, give you a little DIY on a cleansing spray. It's super cute. It's got some uh, lavender in there, some different crystals, and then a couple different oils. And this is awesome. It smells freaking amazing. So for our moon this month, we are in Pisces. It says that we are 27 degrees in Pisces if you are an astrology nerd such as myself. And Tiffany, P.S. If you haven't watched my first astrology video with Tiffany, I will leave the link in the description. It's all about what the planets mean. Super freaking awesome. Check it out. So the new moon in Pisces is a really good time for a different number of things. One of those things is coming to terms with your own differences and opposites that are in your everyday life. Also finding or creating a sense of feeling whole somehow this month, whether that be in your goals, in your personal life, or in really any aspect at all. And also overall just grounding yourself. Pisces rules over the feet, specifically using the feet for grounding to the Earth's energy. So that's why we really want to focus on grounding this month. And then you can also see the difference between grounding and then we have our water signs. So again, just coming to terms with those opposites and growing through them. I wrote a little message to you guys for the new moon this month and it reads, this new moon is the time to rejuvenate ourselves and also balance our opposite side. We set some intense goals for ourselves with the last full moon. So this is the time to analyze our actions, make sure there's intention in everything we do and learn how to improve our weaknesses and keep our strengths consistent. We are currently on a guided energy intensive journey towards setting our goals and this month we will continue to propel in the direction that pretty much we wanna go in. So yeah. So if you are wanting to learn a little bit more about this new moon and maybe all of our other moons, I have a monthly online course where I send you rituals for every new and full moon. And we have a private little Facebook community that we vibe in and it is so much fun. So if you want to read more about this moon and learn about the course, learn about the rituals that I offer and um, this DIY that I'm teaching you guys today is actually part of the ritual we're doing this month. So if you want to join us, please do. I'll leave the link in the description. Um, um, but I will be dropping our Pisces ritual tomorrow night and um, be there to grab it. I can't wait for you guys to check it out and let me know how you like it. Essentially, just a little bit about the course so you guys know, I typically go over kind of what the moon means this month. So what sign it's in, what characteristics that sign has and how that affects the moon and how that affects us. So I go through all of the explanations behind the moon, what it means, and then we do a little bit of reflecting with some workbook pages. I have some journal prompts for you guys to answer to just reflect on the last moon cycle or reflect on the goals that you set last time or the things that you tried to release last time just to kind of see where we're at and then from there we go forward with our ritual our meditation our workbook whatever it is that I have prepared for you um, and it's always super fun and there's always a couple different things that you guys can do I'm really excited and the DIY that I'm gonna be teaching you today is actually from the ritual for this new moon in Pisces that it's coming tomorrow so again if you want to join the course and get the rest of this ritual make sure to click the link in the description but for today's DIY I wanted to do something that I've been actually wanting to do for a really long time and that is make a cleansing spray so for um, well for those of you that have been watching me for a while if you don't remember back when I lived at my parents house my dad absolutely hates hated and still hates the smell of sage so I was never really allowed to use it in the house and I don't mind the smell of it now that I'm living on my own but I wanted to make something that would kind of have the same effect as burning sage would which for those of you who don't know people burn sage typically to just like cleanse energies around them cleanse their area cleanse their home um, it's a very common thing if you want to look it up and read all about it totally do it I have a blog post on it if you're curious I'll leave that in the description too but I wanted to come up with an alternative to get the same benefits, the same cleansing and healing benefits, but maybe without the smoke and the smell, because some people really don't like that. 
So I put together this cute little DIY crystal elixir cleansing spray, if you will, and I'm gonna show you guys how to make this today for the new moon. So if you wanna learn how to make your own cleansing spray, then keep on watching. So the first thing you'll need for this project is a small plastic spray bottle. I got mine at the dollar store. You'll also need a couple essential oils of your choosing, some crystals for the bottom of it, and if you want, I threw some lavender in there, but any herbs would be perfect for this. But now I have all of my materials spread out and you can do this either with a bowl and some water like I'm doing right now or if you just have a sink nearby. Of course you can use that just for filming purposes. I decided to use a bowl so you could see it better. But of course, again, you can just fill it up in the sink. Whatever's easier. So let's just get right into it. So the first thing that we are going to do is, um, now that we have our water in our bowl, we are going to grab our oils and start to put a couple drops of oils into the water. So I'm going to start with our clary sage oil. Four drops of clary sage. Next, we're gonna do two drops of our sweet orange oil. And last but not least, we have our lavender oil. And we're gonna be putting two drops of lavender oil into our water as well. Next, we are going to open up our package of water bottles. You're only going to need the one with the spray bottle attached. But of course you can always save these two bottles and just get some spray attachments for the top as well. Just go ahead and unscrew this. And I'm just going to submerge the bottle in the water to fill it up. Make sure to leave a little bit of space at the top when you're filling your bottle so we leave room for those crystals and anything else you may want to add. Now that we're done with that, we can move our water away. If you have extra water in your bowl that you mixed with the oil, you can save this water and um, either put it in another one of your bottles or you can just save this and use it next time when you run out of spray. So now comes the fun part. We get to decorate our bottle in any way we want. We can add some of our fun crystals. So I'm just gonna go ahead and do that. If you're big into crystals and you want each spray you make to kind of mean a different thing or maybe work for a different chakra, do your research on what each crystal means so you're putting the appropriate crystal in the bottle. If you need some inspiration for this, I have a crystal bible series on my channel that teaches you little bits about different kinds of crystals. So if you need a little bit of inspiration or a little bit of help with that crystal knowledge, I'll leave the video in the description for you to check out. So now I'm going to be breaking off these little pieces of lavender, just this tip at the very top with all of the little lavender buds on it. I'm just going to rip a little piece off so it separates and stick this right into the bottle. It won't sink right away, so you'll have to push it down, but once you put the top on, it'll be totally fine. And once you're done, you can just screw the top right on your bottle. Make sure to push those lavender buds down. Shake it up nice and well. And there you have it, guys. You have your very own cleansing spray. You can use this to cleanse your space, to manifest, bring things into your life. Maybe make different themed sprays if you'd like. If you want to see videos on that, maybe like a manifesting spray, um, manifesting abundance spray, like a money spray. Would you guys like to see something like that? Let me know in the comments. So these are my two bottles right here, my two different sprays, and I freaking love them. So if you want to get one for yourself, I will leave the link in the description to my online store. You can go ahead and pick one up for yourself for our moon ritual. Well, thank you guys so much for watching this DIY. Why? I hope you guys really, really enjoyed it, and I hope that you have a beautiful new moon in Pisces tomorrow evening. Let me know what you guys are going to be doing if you have a ritual you're already doing. I would love to know about it. If you're going to be doing my ritual from our online moon course, I cannot wait to see all of your answers and all of your pictures and fun goodies in our Facebook group, so make sure if you haven't done that already, totally check it out. I'll leave all the links that you need in the description, and that is all. If you are interested in picking up a spray like this and you maybe don't have the time to make it on your own, I am going to be putting a few of these in my Depop shop. For those of you who don't know, I have a Depop now. I just made it today, actually. So go follow me at Tayluna, and I'm posting all of my crystals, my hippie goodies, my um, altar like pieces, my Buddha statues, all of my extra hippie things, yoga clothes, 
stuff like that is going on my Depop. So go check it out, buy some goodies, and I'll send you a cute little letter in the mail if you buy something. But yeah, I'm gonna put a couple of these on my Depop, so I will leave the link to that in the description. And I think that is everything, you guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. I've never done a DIY like this, so I hope you liked it and um, wanna see more in the future. And that is all from me, you guys. If you wanna learn more about this and about everything else that I do online, check out tayluna.com and make sure to follow me on Instagram, at tayluna. Yes! I love you guys to the moon and back, and I will see you very soon. Bye!